Good morning. It is a Saturday morning, so your girl slept in as she should. It's time to get the day started. I'm gonna go make some coffee, open up the blinds, let the light in, and then hopefully I'll be a little bit more awake. Right, so it's time to wake up. now that I have a little bit of life in me, we can get the day started. So today's video is gonna be a full day of self-care, of pampering, cause I deserve it. In all seriousness, quarantine just had me feeling so bummy. I wasn't doing my nails, wasn't doing my hair, like all the things that I regularly would do, I guess cause we're not going out as much, like I didn't feel the need to and I would just get lazy. But then more than ever, like I realized those things just make me feel good. Like I'm tired of being bummy, I wanna look cute, feel better. Like my beauty routine is definitely more of just like my wellness routine. So these self-care days are necessary to keep your girl on top of her game. So it's the weekend. I basically do like my upkeep on the weekend. So we're gonna do a little pedicure. I'm gonna wax my arms. It'll be an ultimate glow up kind of transformation. And we're partnering with CVS for this video. Super exciting. I mean, obviously it's CVS. They're like the first place I think of for my essentials in my beauty and self-care routine. For obvious reasons, they have everything there. Hygiene, beauty products, you guys know. Most my at home like self care and beauty routine is using things that I like to get from CVS. So I'll be sharing some of my faves in this video. Let's get the day started. What should I wear today? What should I wear today? I'm not really going out, so I'm gonna wear a comfy sweater, but like I don't wanna feel too bummy, so I'm gonna pair it up with some jeans. Three, two, one. Ooh yeah, looking cute, but still cozy. Now I'm gonna make my bed because it makes me feel good to like come into the room and see that my bed is nice and tidy and it just makes me feel like my life is more put together. So it's definitely like a self-care thing. Much better. Now let's go fix my face a little bit and do some makeup. Welcome to my studio, my happy place. You guys are very used to this shot of things on my channel here. For makeup today, I'm gonna just mostly focus on my eyes. I've already put on some foundation. Obviously covering up the acne is a self-care moment. It helps me feel more confident when my skin is perfected. But generally since quarantine, like I've been focusing more on eye makeup. Cause obviously with masks, when you're going out running errands, you can't really see the rest of your face other than your eyes. So I've been playing with new products, try a new look here or there. Obviously playing with makeup is like super soothing for me. So it's definitely a self-care thing. So today I have some new products from CVS that I'm really curious about. These are falsies that go like underneath your natural lashes. Like what? So excited. And a couple other goodies. So let's do an eye look. Let's use Maybelline's The Nudes palette. I'm going with this shade right here. I'm gonna just dust that all over my lid. I haven't used this palette in so long, but we're reconnecting today. I've been playing with ways to just make my eyes pop and kind of really accentuate like the almond shape kind of eye. I feel like that's been a trend lately, going with that seductive kind of cat eye. So I'm gonna try and do something like that with this look today. Let's go in with this shade and I'm I'm gonna just line my outer part of my lash line. We want it nice and smoky, soft wing, kind of like a soft glam moment, flicking it out. Now I really wanna try the Maybelline Color Strike. It's a cream to powder eyeshadow pen. And I wanna just smudge that along my lash line. Ooh. I like that. Very foxy. We're gonna try out L'Oreal's Bambi Eye Mascara. Ooh. It's combing through my lashes so easily. Look at that length. I like that mascara. They look long AF. Now let's try out Kisses Falscara. I'm so excited for this. Like I heard about putting your falsies underneath your actual lash line, but does it actually look good? We are about to find out. First you apply the bond side. Then you take one of the lash pieces and I guess just stick her under there. Well, that's actually really easy to apply and they look so natural. Then you use the other side to seal it in place. It's supposed to like get rid of any stickiness. Okay, I like that. Look at the difference. This is my natural lash. This is the Falscara. Definitely looks super natural because there's no like lash band. It's hidden underneath your natural lashes. So I'm gonna finish up the other eye and the rest of my makeup. Then my mic died, but this is the finished look. It was fun to experiment, discover a couple new fun products. And then here I was just saying how you guys have been asking 
asking for a house tour since we moved in a couple of months ago. Since we're spending all day inside, I thought I'd give you a quick tour in this video, but the house still needs a lot of decorating and a lot more work done to it. So don't judge my interior decorating skills just yet, okay? She's a work in progress. So this is the front entryway. I love the open staircase and the balcony up there. There's natural light everywhere, which just makes me feel so good. This is the first room to the right. It's just an office. You go down here and we have the living room and kitchen area. I mean, this island, like I'm obsessed. This kitchen is everything. It's even made me start to try and cook a little bit. I'm not very good, but I try. Messy dining table. It's usually pretty messy. It's got my PR packages right now. And we're doing the landscaping for our backyard right now. They just finished the pool and this area and the deck. And I mean, it's just out of a dream. I love it. And then over here we have the mud room. Obviously still have to furnish it and make it nice, but it's fine. And the guest bathroom on the main level through the kitchen. And this is like a little butler area, I think it's called, I don't know, but I make my coffee here. Walk-in pantry that I'm still in the middle of kind of organizing. That's all I have so far, ignore the rest. <laughs> and let's go upstairs. There's a room down here, but it's just full of supplies and messiness. So we're not gonna go in there. I'll show you once the house is more finished and an unfinished basement down there. Let's go upstairs. From up here, you can see downstairs. We've got a hallway over here, a bathroom. This is Charlie's studio, just full of tech stuff. He does his filming in here, his gaming videos. And down the hall, we have the first room to the right, which is the guest room. We're still decorating. And then it's a Jack and Jill bathroom that leads to my film room, toilet, shower, double sinks. And in here is my film room slash beauty room. And at the end of the hallway, we have the laundry room. Not much to talk about in here. It's kind of messy, it usually is. We're always doing laundry, but I organize these just to say dirty hand wash and clean. It helps me sort out the laundry better. And then in here we have the master bedroom. Best part, this came with the house and they put lights all around it. Such a vibe. And we have a deck out here, which is just so lovely to spend time out here, especially in the warmer weather. And then moving on to the bathroom and master closet. I mean, I am in love with it. This open tub, shower back here and double sinks. Again, need to spend a lot more time organizing, but it is what it is. And then we got the master closet. This is my vanity. I like to do my nails here. Basically the best closet I've ever had in my entire life. This is my side and this is Charlie's side. We obviously have way too many clothes. I put my purses in there and then accessories and stuff in here. So I just finished eating some food. I also spent some time opening PR packages. Check out my IG stories for that. Anytime I'm opening or unboxing new makeup, I post it on there. I also fed Prince, obviously. We went for a walk. I tidied up a little bit. I set my little robots to do the cleaning magic on my floors so they vacuum and kind of mop for me. I'm basically living in the future. And then tomorrow I'll do like deep cleaning, like the bathrooms and all that. But anybody else like really love cleaning? It just makes me feel good to be in a clean house. Now I wanna do a little pedicure. My toes are looking crazy. They definitely are in need of some new polish. I'm going to use this shade. Stilettos and studs. Ooh. So first I'm just going to cut my little toenails. My old polish is gel, so I'm just soaking it in acetone so it's easy to remove. Now I'm going to file them a little bit and kind of make them square shape. And then I just push my cuticles back because it just makes the pedicure look so much better. So they don't look like hella grown out right away. Now I kind of just buff each toenail. This helps the gel nail polish like stick to it and it last so much longer. It won't like peel off on you. Time for nail polish. And I ended up doing two layers of this nail polish so it was nice and opaque. And it turned out so stunning. I was obsessed. I got this shade and also the top coat from CVS. They basically have everything you need for a manicure and pedicure. I've been doing my nails at home. So I love that they have so many options for at home beauty solutions and tools like this cuticle treatment. So this is new to me, but I love it. So I apply it just on my cuticles and kind of around my nail and it just helps to hydrate so it doesn't look so dry and crusty and I feel like it also makes your nails grow like stronger and faster. Ta-da! Cutesy toes all done. What a fabulous pedicure. Did you do that yourself at home? Why yes. I did. I've been really wanting to try yoga because that's something you can do at home. Everyone seems to love it. I've never tried it before. And there's tons of videos online on how to do yoga. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. That's like a good self-care thing, right? Doing something new for yourself. Yeah, of course. This is easy enough. Like you heard me too. I'm done my first yoga session. I'm not flexible at all, but it was very relaxing.
Now I'm gonna whiten my teeth using the Crest Whitening Emulsions. I like to whiten my teeth pretty frequently. This one's really, really easy because you only leave it on for like a minute and then you can go. It's not like the strips that you leave on for like an hour. I'm gonna keep it on for a couple minutes while I wax my arms. You see that whitening in effect. Look at the difference. This arm is so smooth, hairless. This arm is hairy AF. Teeth are looking whiter than ever. I'm gonna wind down for the night now. I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I have a newfound focus for like skincare. I've been using face masks a lot more. It's just such a nice way to like wind down at the end of the night and keep your skin on point and healthy. But first, let's remove my makeup. So tonight I'm starting off by taking off my eye makeup with Almay's eye makeup remover pads. So I just rub a dub dub until it gets all that makeup off. And then here I'm using a regular makeup wipe to take off the rest of my face makeup. And then once I get all that makeup off, I move on to cleansing. And my favorite cleanser right now is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It's for normal to oily skin type. I love how it foams up and it's really, really gentle and my face always feels so clean after. So my skincare routine changes like depending on how my skin's feeling that day. Some days I'll do an extra exfoliating treatment or whatever it may be. But the products I'm using in this video are some of my more affordable staples. And after cleansing, I like to go in with a serum. I'm using Olay's Retinol 24 Max Serum tonight. I like that it has retinol in it because my acne prone skin definitely needs that. And then I always finish up my routine with a moisturizer. I'm using Bliss's Drench and Quench Moisturizer. It's this really cooling, like lightweight gel consistency and it feels so good. And it's super hydrating without being super thick and heavy. All right, face mask time. Oh, it feels so cold. I I like it. Looking good. And of course, no self-care day is complete without taking a nice warm bubble bath. I throw in these Epsom salt tablets to make it extra soothing. And on my self-pampering days when I wanna feel a little extra good, I put on a cute pajama instead of like my regular just oversized t-shirt. I had such a good day. I feel so much more relaxed, rejuvenated. I feel cuter. And right now through November 21st, CVS has a ton of beauty and wellness products on sale on CVS and CVS.com. The link will be in the description to check out CVS's Beauty Don't Stop event. You can earn up to $100 in extra bucks and save money with deals and discounts on all your favorite goodies. So check it out. Let me know what you find. You can pamper yourself like I did today. On that note, your girl is gonna enjoy her book and cuddle her dog. I'll see you guys in my next video. Click here to check out one of my other videos or this one's pretty good too. Word on the street is. You should watch both of them. See you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye, princey.